probably by the time this video drops, you'll have seen the video about the changing the putter grip. Just some extra information on that. If you've never changed a grip before, or attempted it, whatever you do, do not try and do a super stroke or one of those grips that kind of looks like a super stroke grip. You saw the amount of faffing about I did. I had to heat up my hair dryer, I had to stretch it, I had to, um, eh, you better just get in a pro. I think, you know, if the grip itself is 20 quid, the pro's probably going to sell it for 30 quid, right? You're just going to have to take the £10 hit, and that's basically for the pro putting the grip on. But, you know, and I'm not going to say... <laughs> Not every pro does this, but when you get the putter grip right done, just no check it that it's square, right? Before you leave, if it's not square, don't feel embarrassed. Just say, look, try again. It's no square. Uh, they should be able to put a putter grip on square, but there is a fine art to it, and like I say. Using the flat counter, checking the face, checking the grip angle on the flat edge. Uh, should be fairly straightforward. But if they're, say, example, distracted for a second, uh, accidents can happen. Right. Um, on the whole golf swing thing, and how everyone is assuming that the golf throw is that way. Um... <sighs> And golf is so such a great game to play, and uh, you know you watch Rory, you watch Tiger, you watch uh, all these pros, you know the great players through the years, Duval, uh, Payne Stewart, um, Arnold Palmer, uh, Jack Nicholas. I don't know, the list is just so long. But here's something that maybe they give an illusion of that you maybe have convinced yourself that they must be in control of their downswing, eh? They must be, like, you know, fully aware and able to, uh, you know, do whatever they want with that downswing because they're such great players. Nah. <laughs> sure, they can hold off their finish and... They can have an inkling about uh, release for like hitting a draw or hold off or for a cut, but as far as like control of the actual like backswing, the the downswing part of the back, you know, the club goes up, the club is coming down with so much torqued, saved energy that it is releasing. And there is no control over that. It's like a rubber band. You pull back that rubber band and you let it go. It's going, right? So you better have it, like, set online because it is releasing, right? And uh, that is the illusion of this whole thing. You're going up here. And we keep doing this. But honestly, if you do this, like, for two minutes a day, which none of you probably do because you think it's all mumbo jumbo. But if you stand here and throw your hand, hands up here and that, right, you will vastly improve your golf. Um, because, like, that is where you are are throwing, right, with a turn. And like I say, when you get when you get here, right, and you're you're just that's releasing, and it's releasing like. Um, down, but because you're turning under force and centrifugal force, you are slamming that club into the back of the ball. It is really like powering that ball off, and that's what you want because under pressure, under a uh, force you your 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 triangle that you're forming here locks your arms 
in place from your body and gives you that advantage because you there's very like few places that the club can go wrong if it's under centrifugal force because it's controlled by the length of your arms, right? Length of your arms is uh, well, they don't magically get longer, do they? Um, you know, once they're once you're in here with a club and you've got a firm grip of that club, the club's only a certain length. So at that point, nothing really can go. In fact, everything should get a lot uh, more in control because you're a set arc and you've got the power to go through. Again, this 45 magical formula is based on the right angles, which are right angles here and right angles here, but also right angles here and here. You could think of it as a box, but the key is the 45 here on the follow through and the 45 on the backswing. Forty-five. Hitting those angles, some people call it the magic seven. But it's a formula that's obviously mathematically uh, been around for years. A ninety degree and a forty-five angle uh, on a set square uh, with the arc, right? Which bizarrely is a straight line. So if you're moving your feet round on that on the set square arc. Things are starting to click in here, and you're now firing the neurons, thinking this can't all be an accident, can it? Nope, you're right, it can't be an accident because once you work out those angles, oh my goodness, it's at 45 again, it's the golden angle. It's going to help your game, it's going to help your game with every single club in the bag. You do the hard work on the practice area and the golf on the golf course becomes fun and automatic and you can actually have some real fun in the golf course because you can stand there and uh, you say well I'm going to take this up the right side of the fairway touch a wee draw <clears throat> and bring it back um, so you've got the ability to uh, shape shots um, and make it more fun and I found a, a fantastic uh, video um, which uh, is Lee Trevino and uh, he explains this better than um, than most so cut the Lee Trevino video in either to this or on one I think I'll leave it as an entity on its own so you'll see a Lee Trevino discussion on the golf swing I think I'll call it that and we'll post that um, and then you can post it I'll post this video but at some point but uh, thanks for watching we are still trying to get to a thousand subscribers because nobody ever seems to subscribe to this channel but what we're trying to do is get to a thousand subscribers so the ad revenue from the channel being monetized if that ever happens goes to charity charities in question Macmillan help the heroes in shelter UK it has been like that for the last five years three years well, I've, I've lost how long I've been doing this, but it's been a long time. We still are nowhere near it. But if it ever does happen, that is where all the ad revenue goes to charity. The charities, right? So, um, if that doesn't incentivize you to hit that subscribe button, I don't know what will. Too many of you are watching these videos unsubscribed. Over 70% of you watch these videos unsubscribed. It doesn't cost you anything, you just subscribe. It's free. You can subscribe to the channel. You can um, click either the notifications or no notifications. You don't have to have notifications on. But uh, you'd be a subscriber. And uh, it helps the channel. It helps us raise money for charity. Which is what we've been trying to do. But stumbling block is you need a thousand subscribers. And at this rate, we're never going to... Never going to get there, so we'll just keep posting videos and uh, helping folks game and that. But we really want to be giving some uh, ad revenue to charity, eh? if we can. So thanks for watching.